It is called hot Jupiter because it is located in extreme proximity to its star. Today we will talk about a very interesting exoplanet in the shape of a rugby ball. Where did it come from? Why did it get such an unusual shape? And what does this discovery portend for humanity? Wrap yourself in cozy blankets, brew delicious tea, I'll be glad for your subscription to my channel. And thanks guys for writing interesting comments, the best ones will be in one of the what is. Let's fly! What is WASP-103b? The extreme environment that ultra-short orbital period planets are subjected to makes them ideal laboratories to study planetary physics. Their study allows us to gain a wealth of information on planet-to-star tidal interactions. In addition to very high temperatures, they also suffer from intense tidal forces that cause the shape of the planet to deform. The orbital period is only one Earth day. As a result, the planet is exposed to significant radiation and powerful tidal forces, like those with which the Moon affects the Earth's oceans, but incomparably more powerful. Swiss scientists made an unusual discovery thanks to the processing of observational data from the CHEOPS European Space Observatory CHEOPS, launched into Earth orbit in December 2019. The study was facilitated by the results of observations from the Hubble and Spitzer space telescopes. Scientists processed information obtained from observing several passages of an exoplanet in front of its star. This allowed scientists to draw some conclusions about the internal structure of the planet and use parameters known as love numbers. They were named after the British scientist. They were named after the British scientist Augustus Love, Augustus Edward Huff Love who contributed to the theory of tides. The calculations allowed the researchers to figure out how the mass is distributed in WASP-103b, although the accuracy of these calculations is still relatively low. In the future, the authors of the study want to refine their calculated data by gaining access to further observations from CHEOPS and possibly the James Webb Telescope recently launched by NASA. Tidal forces tend to circularize planetary orbits and to synchronize the planetary and stellar rotation with the orbital period. In hot Jupiter systems, the orbits are usually circularized and the planet rotation is synchronized. However, the synchronization of the stellar rotation is still incomplete due to the longer and still poorly unconstrained timescale of this process. For planets with an orbital period shorter than a third of the rotation period of the star, as it turns out to be the case for hot Jupiters, the tidal interaction leads to the unstable transfer of angular momentum from the planetary orbit to the stellar angular momentum. This results in the planet spiraling inwards and eventually being engulfed by the star. Therefore, tidal interactions between a star and a close-in exoplanet lead to shrinkage of the orbit and eventual tidal disruption of the planet. Here it is, in front of you. The first planet, which shape, due to strong tidal forces, is more like a rugby ball than a sphere. The results of the study are published in the journal Astronomy and Astrophysics. Interestingly, the planet WASP-103b is located in the constellation Hercules at a distance of several light years from us. It is almost twice as large as Jupiter, one and a half times as massive as Jupiter and about 50 times closer to its star than the Earth is to the Sun. And the star WASP-103 itself is 1.7 times larger than the Sun and 200 degrees hotter. Ouch! I'm scalded! Due to the great proximity to their star, scientists suspected that the planet had very strong tides, but so far they could not check for a find. Earth tides associated with the gravitational influence of the Moon are practically invisible from space. On planet WASP-103b, the tides are much more extreme. The planet orbits its star in just one day and is deformed by strong tidal forces so much that its appearance resembles a rugby ball. The researchers took advantage of the fact that the planet deems the light of its parent star slightly every time it passes in front of it. After observing several such transits, the scientists were able to measure the deformation. It is incredible that they were able to do this, such an analysis was carried out for the first time. The results obtained made it possible to draw certain conclusions not only about the shape of the planet, but also about its internal structure. Scientists say a material's resistance to deformation depends on its composition. On the Earth, we can only see tides in the oceans. 
the rocky part of our planet does not shift so much. So by measuring how warped a planet is, scientists can determine how much of it is rock, gas or liquid. According to the authors, the internal structure of the planet is similar to that of Jupiter, the largest gas giant in the solar system, although it is twice as large. The question arose before scientists that in fact WASP-103b should be greatly inflated due to heating by its star or possibly other mechanisms, but for now this remains a mystery. The authors hope that data from the recently launched James Webb Space Telescope will enable them to more accurately determine the parameters of tidal warp and better understand the internal structure of WASP-103b. I hope I justified the hope of watching this video from a scientific point of view. Now you can put down the popcorn and subscribe to my channel and to the community at the links in the description of this video to keep abreast of events from the world of science and space. Hug you!